Streamyard is my favorite tool for live streaming, but there are a lot of little extra hidden features in there that you might not know about that are gonna make your live streams perform better. Let's do this. Hi, my name is Desiree, and I'm here to help you grow your business with better social media and content marketing. The first thing that any good streamer needs when they're going live in Streamyard is need some quality overlays. So you want to head down to the description and grab my free templates that I have for you. They're going to level up your live stream, make them look really professional and take it from meh to yes. So here are some really good little secrets and tips to help you make your live streams better. First things first, screen sharing. So here's how you screen share. All you have to do is have whatever it is that you want to screen share up. For example, I'm going to have a tab showing off my YouTube channel. So what I'm going to do is go down to screen share and I'm going to have this pop up and it's going to show me what I want. I can do my entire screen, which I do not recommend because it will make your computer and your live stream run very slow. But go here and either click the actual application window you want to show if you're showing something on the computer like a how-to video for like a software or something or if you want to show something that is specifically a tab on YouTube just click that tab and hit share it's going to pop you over to where you want to be sharing and it's going to have the stop feature when you go back to the stream it's going to show you the default setting for how you have this you can either change it while you're doing the screen share or you can go back to uh, some of your original features where you have it maybe side by uh, side by side or you have this one where like you're small and you have this graphic um, for the screen share here and then of course you have like you know the background in the background next how do you invite guests so that they can be a part of your live stream did you know that you can have up to 10 guests on your live stream let me show you real quick how you invite guests in the stream yard interface so that you can easily add all those people. Once you are in the broadcast, all you go down to is right here in the bottom where it says invite and you send this link. You will send the same link to everybody that you want to invite to the stream. I recommend that you email it to them or send this in a Facebook messenger if that's what you're looking to do. People can use this whether they are on their phone or on desktop. Now, when you use StreamYard to, or any third-party software, honestly, to live stream into a Facebook group, the user has to get permission for that app, for StreamYard, to have permission to see like who it is that's talking. So one of the things that automatically is available when posting into a groups is a disclaimer that StreamYard has that will put the bottom of your message. I highly encourage you to include that in your message so that you can kind of see who it is that's talking. Whenever someone doesn't have that, you're gonna kind of have to like go to the original Facebook group and like see who is saying these things. But the comments do show up. You just don't know who's saying it. You don't have like a picture in the little circle. Now, a lot of people ask, can I use StreamYard on my phone? Well, you can and you can't. You cannot host a stream with StreamYard on your phone, but you can be a guest on StreamYard with your phone. All you have to do as a host is send the link to the guests and they follow the steps from there. It is really easy, but there's just not currently the bandwidth available to let you live stream from your phone as the host. So make sure you know that and you're set up on your laptop or your desktop. But any operating system can use StreamYard. In fact, you don't have to download anything. It's all done in a browser. Now, my little secret thing that I do when it comes to my streams is I like to use backgrounds. A lot of people rely really heavily on overlays, but I'll switch out my backgrounds or like the bottom text or the top text is interchangeable. That way I can have more of like a full video screen versus those close-ups. And I can just kind of play around with it versus trying to switch out overlays all the time. It's my own personal little hack and my own preference for working, but I highly suggest you play with it if you're using overlays. Check out the StreamYard community. The StreamYard community is basically all of the people that love StreamYard helping each other and solving problems together. Gage and Dan, the co-founders of StreamYard, do a wonderful job of staying engaged, answering questions, and even putting suggestions that you might have into place that they see in the community. The community is so active and so wonderful. I highly recommend that you check that out. If you're looking to do more and accomplish more with StreamYard, I want you to watch this playlist I have right here. I did a series of all of the different tools, options, and things that people need to know when using StreamYard. And until next time, I'll see you soon.